distant politicians are now joining, of course, uh, the self-referendum, voting yes for the different restoration. Wow, do you see that as a surprise? Does that come as a surprise to you? As your girlfriend? Those people who made themselves a brave, those people who left their father name want to answer their mother name. I think they are doing what they call repentance. But let their repentance be genuine. Not the repentance of the OS. That when they pursue, pursue, they are not able to get you. They come and embrace you as you people are one. As you embrace them back, they kill the person. Those who have already said no to Biafra are now saying yes to Biafra. The only mistake the person do was calling their name. You could not have called their name. You understand? Because of security purpose. Now, I am not surprised. I could remember in the Second Republic of Nigeria, headed by Alaji Shehu, the left Alaji Shehu Shagari. You know the slogan of NPN that time, because NPN was the party in power. You know, you know their slogan that time. If you cannot beat them, join them. That's their slogan that okay, time. If you cannot beat them, you join them. Wow, that is great. Which means that uh, the, the determination of the Biafrans to ensure that the, the progression of Biafra become a reality was so strong. It was so strong. That even the politicians are now, of course, having no other options but to join. To agree. As Simon Ipma, Biafran government in exile. To say yes, yes, to Biafra referendum. Wow, this is now they, miracle. they cannot beat Biafra youth, they cannot beat Biafra population, they cannot beat the spirit of Biafra, they cannot beat the soul of our fallen heroes. They have to surrender and say yes. Now, this is what I've been saying that whether they like it or not, they are Nyamri, whether they like it or not, they are Omibu. Whether they believe it or not, they are Biafra. Now, are they, are, is, it, is it not coming to reality? And that makes me to think again that the Igbos, not the whole Biafrans, the Igbos, mostly South, uh, Southeast, these five, let me put this, stubborn Igbos. We have other Igbos in South South. But these five states, stubborn Igbos. Anything they are doing, there's no profit, they're not doing it. They use their front issue as money making machine. I think they feel now that they have got enough profit by betraying Nam De Kalo, by putting him there and speaking openly against Biafra. I think they feel now they have made a profit, financial profit, and the God has sustained Nam De Kalo. He did not die. And the, these people never surrender. Therefore, there's no need. As far as we make our money, there's no need. Let us, let us follow them. All the whole senators, reps, Hanes and Dibo, billionaires now are joining Biafra. They are now saying yes to, yes Biafra, to Biafra, referendum. Biafra referendum. This is the lost doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. We have to glorify the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have to glorify God Almighty. Chuko Kike Abiyama, the God of Henry and the God of Biafra, we have to glorify him. Because this is the art of Biafra. Who can change the mind of these people? All the people that were adamant to crush Biafra down. All the people that were adamant to make sure they kill the Kalo. I'm not saying, please don't exclude us. Uh, we are part of we Biafra. We are part of Biafra. We are just playing games and they are trying to make our money. Make our money. You see, and, the, and, the, and the, it's God Almighty that turned their hearts. Because in the book of a, in the book of a, 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 a proverb 21, 21, verse 1 and 2, it, it said that the heart of kings is in the hand of God, like a floating river. He turned it wherever he, wherever he will it. So the heart of man is in the hand of God. God has turned their hearts. God has put fear into them. God has made them to understand without the Biafra. You politicians are nowhere in Nigeria land. You people are Igbo, you people are Biafra, you cannot deny it. Like I said so, the other time, upon all the things that Zeke did to 
Igbos in during the civil war and other things. When Zeke died, where did they bury him? Do they bury him in Zungeru? Do they bury him in Abuja? Where did they bury him? In Onitsha, Igbo land. To prove that whether, whether death or life, he said Nyamri, he said Omwibo, he cannot deny it. Would that be considered as uh, Nigeria usually uh, say repented Boko Haram? Would that be considered as repented uh, uh, prodigal sons or all, and they also admitted by the Japan government election? No, no, they are not sons, but they are rebels. They rebel against Biafra. And when a rebel surrender is instrument of rebellion, oh well, he may be accepted. You understand what I'm saying? He may be accepted. He may be accepted. That is 50 50. You understand? But it's left now for Biafra government. Mostly our prime minister, God given, God given prime minister, Simon Eba. And the onion do I, our God given Nam de Carlo. It's left for them to decide and other Biafran government cabinets to spring Biafran government, spring government of Biafra to decide where they will be. But the only thing we have to bear in mind, this is, Bible said it, I think in the book of, uh, somewhere in Bible, Bible said that, can Leopard change his spot? If these people we bring finally come back to us, we should never allow them to near anything in government. Oh, sorry. We should never allow them to have any post in Biafra government. Post, office. They only mind their personal business. And no government official they will support. Whether in politics, whether in everything. They should mind their own business. Because the corruption of Nigeria is still in their blood. They will use it to pollute our God divine nation, Biafra. They will take you to pollute it. You understand? That's the only thing. We will avoid them. They will never near anything in government, even local government, uh, 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 council law, in government level, whether local or federal. They should not try it. Let it be a, let it be a constitution that bound them participating in anything public. Office holding. Because of the pain and betrayal. No, because the betrayal is in their blood. No matter what happened. My people said, no matter how we cure a madman, he must surely be murmuring. No matter how we cure a madman, the madness will come okay. He must surely be murmuring. To come and ask he must surely do it. So, I, I, I mean, this is a good example. That God is with us. And now this should show each Nigerian government a lesson that they cannot subdue Biafra. If these people that are eating and dining with them, these people that are leaking the secret of Biafra, people that want to Biafra to be crushed, let her turn back. I say we are now Biafra. This will teach Nigerian government that they cannot subdue Biafra. But rather, they should come with, uh, in agreement with the Biafra to restore or to build up diplomatic relationship in a strong way that two of us will have exchange of mind. We'll be rubbing mind together as a very good neighboring nation. Nations. They should do it. And they should come and sit down with IPOB autopilot and sit down to share Nigerian assets with the Biafra. They should not go and talk with these politicians, with Ohaneze, with even strong businessmen, because they have no mouth in this Second Republic of Biafra, led by Masin Namdekalo and his IPOB government of Biafra. Now, when I said they should come and sit down with IPOB autopilot under the supervision of our God-given Prime Minister, 
Not that I'm sal I'm saladin Nam de Carlo. Nam de Carlo is the president. Someone is the uh, uh, prime minister. When a prime minister go meeting finish, he will take it to go and explain to the president. If the president give approval, then the president will sign it before prime minister will carry the assignment. That's how it is. Not that I'm trying to select Nam de Carlo. No. Nam de Carlo. No. My uh, sister Monica is still under Nam de Carlo. So I want the grace of God, the God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, should touch the Nigerian government to come into negotiation with IPOB autopilot.